I query folks, by the way, query meaning to ask them questions about how they effectively use Microsoft Outlook, Microsoft Outlook with Exchange, or Microsoft Office 365. One of the common things they say is, well, you know, I use the mail, I use the calendar, I use the contacts, but I don't really use or understand the idea of tasks. And the fact is tasks is really a great effective way to manage the things that you need to do and get reminders for them. So let me use our uh, student scenario case that I'm a student and I want to create a task. So I'm going to come down here to tasks and I'm going to create a new task. Now I'm actually going to create a reoccurring task for my CIS 131 class that's called homework due. So I know that the instructor has a due date for homework, okay, that in this case, every week the homework is due Monday following the week that the instructor's given the lecture. So the due date is going to be Monday. I'm going to want a reminder. Now, you're going to set your reminder for, you know, whatever your procrastination level is. So my procrastination level is I want a reminder on Saturday and I want to make sure I hate that they default this to 12 a.m. because I'm not up at 12 a.m. Okay, normally I'm not up at 12 a.m. So I want to go in and change that reminder to a time that I know I'm up, that the reminder is going to be effective, that I've got homework due. So there we are. I'm ready to set it. Now, I'm going to repeat this every Sunday and I'm going to regenerate one new task each week after completing the other task. That way I don't see a bunch of tasks for the same thing. I'll see the next task when it's time for me to create it. So there's my start date. In this case, I'm going to use the occurrences because this is going to happen once a week on Sunday. I'm going to repeat it every week on Sunday, right? Repeat every one week on Sunday. I'm going to do it for 10 occurrences, which means 10 weeks, so that I remind myself when the homework is due. Now, one more thing I'm going to do is use categories so that I can organize my tasks by the category. So this is a COCC class. I've added that. This isn't the due date that I want, you silly. I want January 14th. There we go. And save and close. So now I have this task. I'm going to get reminders. And in a subsequent video, I'm going to show you how we can set up to get text message reminders. So if I'm not in the system, I'm going to get a text message that reminds me of my tasks of calendar appointments, etc. So here I've got a task. It's ready to go. Now, when I'm ready to do, all I have to do is go back into the task and I can use this very productively. Let's say I complete the task. It's great to come in here and say when you've completed it. If I've started it but not completed it, I can give myself a percentage so I can see some positive return that I've done some work and I'm at least working the task. Now for you business folks, tasks are great. Anytime I was doing consulting, I used tasks. As I went out to a client, it was a great way. I'd create a task. This is what I worked on. This was the total hours, the mileage, the company. Come down here, do notes attach a file if I had some support notes, etc., and a billing. Then I left it open so I remembered to go back and assign the bill to the customer. So there's a great example of tasks. I really hope you'll use them and be more efficient, more productive in your daily lives. Take care and we'll talk soon.